All right, so what we have here is a word problem involving the volume of cones. So let's go ahead and read it and see what we have to do to solve. So the problem reads that cones A and B both have a volume of 12 pi cubic units, but have different dimensions. Cone A has a radius of 3 units and a height of 4 units. Select all possible lengths for the radius and height for cone B that will yield a volume of 12 pi cubic units. All right, all we really have to do with this problem is take the volume formula for a cone, which is pi times radius squared times the height divided by 3. Remember, it's the same formula as the volume of a cylinder, except for we divide by 3. That is the only difference. And all we have to do is we have to substitute each radius and each height and see if it makes a volume of 12 pi cubic units. All right, so let's take the first pair of numbers here. So we are going to substitute a radius of 2 and square it and then multiply by a height of 9 and divide by 3. And what we can do is take 9 divided by 3 to begin with and reduce that to 3 over 1. And then we just take 2 squared, which is 4, and multiply 4 times 3, which is 12. So this combination of radius and height does give us a volume of 12 pi. So this is what we should select. All right, let's go ahead and try the next pair of numbers. So I'm going to plug in the radius and the height straight away here. So we're going to take a radius of 4 and square it and a height of 3 and then divide all of this by 3. And because I have the same numerator and denominator, I can just cancel those out. So what we have here is 4 squared, which is 16, which gives us a volume of 16 pi. So that is not 12 pi, so we would not select that pair. All right, let's go ahead and plug in the next pair. So we have a radius of 6, so we're going to take 6 and square it and multiply by height of 1 and divide by 3. And when we do that, we have 36 on top divided by 3, which is 12. So this does make 12 pi. So this combination would make a volume of 12 pi. And the next pair would be pi times a radius of 1 squared times a height of 36, and we have to divide all of this by 3. And I can take 36 and divide that by 3 right away, which would be 12, or I could simply just do 1 squared is 1 times 36 is 36, and 36 divided by 3 is 12. So that does make a volume of 12 pi. So we should select this option. And for the last two numbers here, we have a radius of 6, so we have to square 6, multiply by a height of 6, and divide by 3. So what we could do is we could take the 6 and 3 and reduce. Because 6 divided by 3 is 2, we can just change this to 2 over 1, which really just leaves us with 6 squared times 2, which would be 36 times 2, which is 72. So that combination of radius and height would give us 72 pi. That does not make 12 pi. So this combination of radius and height, as well as these two combinations here, would give us a volume that is equal to 12 pi cubic units. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.